Welcome to NHL 20 and thanks for watching. Today we're going to learn to give hip checks like this one right here. So get your controller ready. Now I'm going to have to warn you it's going to be a little bit complicated and nuanced. Not as easy as it seems but uh, let's go ahead and get started. There's some good news on this move and that is whether you have the PS4 or Xbox One, the move is essentially the same. It's uh, worded a little bit differently in the controller settings and instruction manual of uh, the Xbox One. Uh, let's start with the PS4. It basically says R3 plus L1. Basically, you press in the right analog stick and you press L1 at the same time. For the Xbox One, uh, basically press in the right analog stick and then press LB, which is essentially L1 on the PS4 at the same time. So that's all you need to do. But unfortunately, when we attempt this, you know, it goes into uh, a crouch block. So it seems like, you know, we're not hitting the R3. Maybe we're hitting L1. Maybe we're not hitting it at the same time. But uh, one of the things I've noticed is it just goes into crouch block mode, which, I mean, you can stop, make a defensive stop with that, but it's it's not a hip check. You know, we came here to figure out how do we do a hip check, and a crouch block isn't quite it. So we're lacking one thing, and the question is, what is that thing that we're lacking? Well, if you guessed speed, you are correct. You need to have speed or this will not work. So on the PS4, the hustle button is essentially L3. You press in the left analog stick. On the Xbox One, the hustle button is, well, just pressing an L or the left analog stick right here. So we need to have speed in order to uh, make this work. If you don't have speed, it's not going to work. It's going to look just like a crouch block. So that's uh, something to keep in mind when you're going to attempt this uh, move right here. This move by Ovi right here is a perfect example of how you do a hip check. Unfortunately, not every move can be just like that. Here we go for the hip check and we don't quite get him, but at least we get the puck loose and we take possession of the puck, which is kind of important. Here we're trying to prevent a breakaway. We go for the hip check and we do the spin. We completely miss on the hip check, but we get really lucky and take possession of the puck. If you'll notice, when you do the hip check, he's going to spin. And if you don't coordinate it right, it's going to look like a crouch block. Even though you probably did push most of the buttons, you probably just didn't have the speed sequence right uh, with it. Now, from my experience, your best odds of success for this are right by the boards. As you can see right there, we missed. And that's another reason you should be attempting this more often by the boards, because if you miss, you're not going to get punished as badly, because, of course, the puck is on our opponent's end, and it's going to take them a little while to set up, regardless of whether or not we hit this move, versus, of course, attempting this on our own end where a skilled opponent is more likely to exploit us than uh, us getting lucky right here. And, of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching, and uh, good luck.